This drug has been tested uh, both for uh, melanoma and renal cell carcinoma and uh, acute myeloid leukemia. And uh, uh, the results have been uh, most impressive in acute myeloid leukemia. So uh, what was found in a, a phase uh, three trial that uh, was finalized about uh, 10 years ago uh, was that patients that received histamine and IL-2 when they, after intensive chemotherapy, when they were in complete remission, they uh, had a significantly lower risk of relapsing in their disease. And uh, this drug was, uh, after this trial, approved in, within the European uh, Union for use uh, in AML patients after they have uh, received, uh, achieved complete remission. What I have uh, done is uh, that I've been taking part in a uh, post-marketing trial, which is a phase four trial after this uh, drug was approved. And then uh, patients have been treated again with histamine and IL-2, AML patients in complete remission. And we have uh, taken blood from these patients before and after cycles of immunotherapy. And, uh, these blood samples have been used uh, for a variety of studies and we have looked at NK cells and T cells and myeloid cells and what happens to these different immune populations during therapy. And then we have tried to uh, better understand what really happens in the patients when they get this drug and which of uh, these effects that correlate to the outcome for the patients. This. Uh, phase four trial, it's a one-arm trial, so all patients have received histamine and IL-2, so we don't have a control group. But what we see in this trial is that uh, the NK cell numbers, they increase very much during each round of histamine and IL-2. Uh, that's one finding. And um, we also see that the expression of histamine type two receptors on myeloid cells also increases during the rounds of uh, immunotherapy. And another finding is that we see that um, the cytotoxic T cells, uh, it, it seems to be a redistribution between effector memory cells to effector cells within those populations that fare well. Uh, and uh, uh, also we see that NK cell expression of um, and uh, natural cytotoxicity receptors increase during immunotherapy. Um, and these factors, the, the increased expression of natural cytotoxicity receptors, the increased expression of histamine type 2 receptors, and the redistribution of cytotoxic T cells, all, all these factors correlate to a beneficial clinical response. Uh, but since we don't have a control arm, we can't say for sure that um, this wouldn't happen in the absence of the therapy, but, uh, but uh, we, we believe that the therapy might have something to do with these parameters since we sh surely see that during each cycle uh, the uh, NK cell number increase, the NCR expression uh, increase and histamine type 2 receptor expression increase. So. But we want to, uh, to study the same things uh, in a randomized trial and also prospectively. So this was a post hoc analysis that we performed. So we hope that, uh, that um, some of these markers will be able to be used as biomarkers in the future. But um, in order to evaluate that, we need to do uh, prospective uh, trials and also randomized trials uh, with patients not receiving the immunotherapy to see if these immune markers, if they are predictive, or even if the patients wouldn't get uh, histamine IL-2 treatment. Well, uh, one thing that, um, that uh, we have seen also in post hoc analysis is that this immunotherapy appears to work uh, better for patients who have uh, monocytic forms of AML. But this was also found in post hoc analysis. So AML is a very uh, diverse uh, disease with a lot of different uh, variants and uh, um, 
the monocytic forms of AML are called the uh, Fab class M4 and M5. Uh, they have malignant cells that express histamine type 2 receptors and that are capable of producing oxygen radicals. Uh, and in uh, in vitro systems, we have seen that histamine can inhibit uh, radical formation from these uh, malignant monocytes, and that uh, this inhibition makes it easier for NK cells uh, to kill off these malignant cells. So uh, uh, this is uh, one thing that we think could be a biomarker, the expression of histamine type 2 receptors and the expression of the NOX2 enzyme, which is the radical forming enzyme in the myeloid cells. Uh, but um, ah, this also needs to be uh, validated. And uh, so we don't, uh, we don't know for sure if, if the therapy works only in M4, M5 patients or best in these patients, but that's one of the uh, theories that we, we have.